Hey guys, it's Cindy A. Lewis. Welcome to the first video in our Junk Mail Envelopes Junk Journal 2020 in review. So I'm gonna take you on my thought process while I work out how I want to put the journal together. And then we're gonna do it kind of step by step together to create every month a memory and uh, you don't have to share your memory, but I mean, um, the theme for the layout to document 2020. And who doesn't want to document 2020 this year? So I have some things that have happened in my year that I want to document and I um, put an idea out there and everyone seemed to be interested in doing the same thing. We don't have to make it complicated. Let's just make it simple and easy. So let's get our thought process going together. Okay, well the first thing that I do is I think about what do I want my junk, um, my junk journal to look like. So this is my junk uh, mail envelope junk journal. So I start kind of thinking it through, and this is just the way that I'm doing this one. And you could do any of your thought process, or maybe you don't even really have a thought process. What do I wanna do? Well, I want to be, this is the 2020 um, in review. Maybe we'll just call it that. And what do I wanna do? I want every month, I want to have every month, so these are my notes. Every month I want a layout. Now a layout is both pages. So in my junk journal, I want page one and two to be each month, right? So I'm gonna have two pages that could be one single layout or it could be two, depending on what I want to do with the, with the page. Now, so every month I want to have a layout. So what does that mean for me? It means I need a cover, which is a, a, and a back. Now, I, I could make that one sheet of paper that I fold, right, in the middle, or I could do two, two separate sheets. So I'm just gonna see, do I wanna do that? Do I wanna fold this where it folds like this with my paper? Or do I want it to be separate? Separate. Doesn't matter which way you do it, but you gotta think it through. So that affects all your papers. Now, what I wanna do, if I want 12 months, so I need a cover and then I need 12 months. Now my inside, when I fold this open, this can be my first month. So I need to have how many envelopes? How many envelopes am I gonna need to make one junk journal for the year? I'm thinking that I'm gonna need 13 to 15 envelopes to make enough pages for every month to have a layout of pages, uh, one and two. <clears throat> that might give me a little extra, um, and I have to decide what size I'm gonna make my journal. I believe I'm gonna do the number 10 size envelope, which is the regular large envelope, which is about this size. This is one of the <clears throat> junk mail junk journals that I made last uh, May for Mother's Day. And you can see, if I count, this would be one layout, two, three, four, five, six, plus that opens, seven, eight, nine so I would need <clears throat> 
10, 11, 12. So I would need at least three more to make my uh, junk journal for this year. Now this is the large number 10 envelope. This is the regular small envelope um, that maybe your water bill would come in or whatever if you get that. I don't know, some people don't get them anymore. They get them all sent to them. But if you wanna make a smaller journal, you could do something similar to this and you would still have plenty of room to do your um, you know, journaling and your memory keeping. So it would just all, just whatever, depend on what you want to do and record in your uh, journal. So I'm gonna set these two aside. That just gives you an idea of the sizes for return envelopes. You could definitely do whatever you would like to do, but this is what I'm leaning towards. So after I decide this, then I start thinking about each month and what do I want to record for that month? And then I think about, <clears throat> do I need to have, a, do I have anything from a birthday? Do I have anything from, from something that happened during that month that was a big deal to me and my family? You know, what do I want to capture and so I list every month out. Oh, well, I did that. Okay, so I've listed every month out. Not very orderly, but that's okay. So I know January was winter. And if I can't remember anything else, I might go and look at my calendar or look on my phone or uh, look at pictures that I took from that month um, that I've recorded. So I know winter is going to be a theme here. I know this is going to be hearts and love because it's February and I'm just like that. Um, plus in February um, was my husband's birthday, my hubby's birthday, and my birthday. So we got two birthdays. So I've just got to see um, what I have on that. Then say Feb say March. March is when. COVID hit and actually I I was not well after I traveled in February and I had to stay with my sister so that would be something um, to capture uh, there so you can see I just kind of jot things down like COVID hit and um, toilet paper disappeared from and toilet paper and paper towels disappeared right everybody remember going to the grocery store and the shelves being cleared out then april april was my youtube appre uh, appreciation month for all my subscribers which i'm still doing every month ever since april i haven't stopped so it was my youtube appreciation month what else happened well we'll see then may and so forth and so what i'm gonna do is i think about what what papers would go with those themes and then um you know then we'll record it so like november uh there was an election that was a, that's been a big thing right so you would want to record that in your 20 uh 20 um christmas for december right and then on uh, July 4th, you know, maybe you want to record red, white, and blue, you know, maybe you don't. Then, you know, like June is summer. So uh, maybe you, maybe you were able to get outside and do some things summer um, wise, even if you couldn't travel. And so record these things, kind of get an idea, you know, you got fall, then back to school. So just check, um, you know, I didn't go back to school, but my son did, he's going back to school to be an eye doctor. So anyway, you know, start thinking about that. This is the first video, this is the intro. So the next video will be, okay, so this is the process. Number one, the process, okay? Number two, so I'm just gonna flip this page over and put number two is gonna be um, picking out the envelopes. 
from my stash and then and the papers right then uh, say number three um, you might not have everything pulled out that you want for decorating so we're going to push decorating towards the end to decorate your pages but i will tell you i am going to do some cool videos on making little decorative items for your pages to give you some ideas of some things that you can do so number three we're going to do assembly right and we're going to assemble the journal the junk journal and if you have already seen that video on how to put your um, your envelope junk journals together, you may not step in and watch this one, or you may learn some different tricks and you may want to some check out those tips. Then number four and so forth are going to be um, decorate decorate the page, decorate the cover and back, which will be simple because inside the pages, we're gonna do each video, one video at a time. So this is gonna be um, an intensive step-by-step -step video creating a 2020 in review junk mail envelope junk journal so that we can capture the memories from last year, which I think is very important. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and put down that each month we're gonna do a video so that we can decorate the pages together. Now, again, that may be more tutorial than you are looking for, but uh, you may learn some new tricks and you may just like the conversation and the group because everybody that's part of this YouTube family are really like family and I appreciate you all so very much. So we're gonna try to do all of that and then the last video will be um, the review, right? and flip through, which will be a fun, fun one there. Okay, so that's kind of the plan, that's the process, and we're ready to get started. So join me in the next video when we pick out the envelopes and the papers.